Paco. Greetings! Welcome! Hello! I'm the Incredible Paco and welcome back for some more Super Mario Maker. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some more Super Expert No Skips and I'm actually sitting at 925 successfully rescued princesses. I'm hoping to push a thousand in the near future. Level 1 though is something Japanese. And there's a 2 in there. Okay, right off the bat it looks a bit puzzly. Huh. Although, wait, so I got the POW here. But I go like that, and then that doesn't actually help me. So let's see, what if we were to... Reuse the doors? Do something like that? Does that help me at all? Yeah, like if I could, if I could then get past the one ways, that'd be groovy. But I don't think that helps me. Hold on, let's just keep resetting until something makes sense. Well, so I can see the goal at the top. Yeah, I don't get it. Maybe I can just cheese this with a bomb drop? It would be a really tight window there. Spring would definitely be a million times easier. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Wow, that is super tricky. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna drop the bomb next to the block and I'm not gonna commit all the way right. Watch, this is gonna work. So something like... Did that work? If that doesn't work, then I have no idea. No, that didn't work. That wasn't even close. Yeah, I'm I'm bamboozled. <laughs> okay, I'm no longer bamboozled. So I was on the right track. I just didn't do it right. Got it. This is a very, very, very tricksy puzzle. I I do respect it. Although I mean we'll we'll see how I feel once I get to the end of this. So, reset again. And now, I'm gonna go through like this. Go up like that. That works! Nice! Nice! Whew! Okay, so drop the spring. Hopefully this doesn't have to be a spring drop. I think it's just a regular jump. Yep. And now it's subworld time. What? Okay. Do I do something like this? Hold on, let's try it again. Something like that. And then I think I have to get it back. Okay. So now I have my beetle. Let's see what's up here. Okay, I feel like that was necessary. Down we go. So now, I can get this back, uh oh. Looks like we have a mystery and a half up ahead here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear these coins. Then I'm gonna stop this dude from waiting. Actually, we're just gonna leave this dude here. Rear Shalmet? Yeah, there's no way I can juggle everything. But I feel like... What if I bring the beetle and I throw it on a head? Like, we hit the P-switch. Do something like that, and then as long as I didn't get hit, I keep the shelmet, I go through, and then we're gonna be on the home stretch. You never want to start with a puzzle level. 
But I guess YOLO? Something like this? And so now I can get up, but I feel like I'm missing something right now. Like when I go through the pipe, unless I get a shell? Oh, never mind, I get the tomato. So check the tomato. And then is this all I have to do and then I win? That's all I have to do. I, I am going to start this level. This level was really cute. And it was actually quite a lot of fun. I'm off. Look, that was my first hour of the day. But we're at 97 lives going into level 2. And, I mean, I got my thinking cap on already. Woo! Level 2. 40 sec speed run. Nice. As long as that Goomba didn't have a key, we're fine. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on me being old. I just couldn't process what was happening when I came out of the pipe. Also, Goomba did not have a key. So, oh. Over, up, that's a gap there. Up, what am I doing? Zed. I think I was supposed to get flung, and it just didn't work out how I wanted it to. Ah, man. So the start is not actually that tough. I, I did it on my first attempt. But I feel like there's no chill, you know? I, I like an easy jump or two as I'm starting a level. Okay, spin. What? That is a really hard angle. 15 seconds. I'm feeling ever so slightly less confident. 10 seconds. Five seconds. There's probably going to be like 20 donuts. No? That's it? If that level had a tight timer, that could have honestly taken the next, you know, 80 lives. But fortunately, it did not. Woo! Next. Level 3. Spikes and Ice by Michael. I like spikes. I like ice. Don't really like the setup here, though. All, all that just to get that? Okay. So now I'm Baby Bowser. And I'm gonna trust the coins. Because they've given me no reason not to. Although that was kind of bad manners. That was pretty, pretty bad manners. That was not cool, dude. Okay, so random fire bar. Awesome. And I can't wait to, you know, chill here for the first 10 seconds of the level just to get started. My favorite. Okay, so drop down. We don't get fire barred. And I feel like that jump doesn't line up nicely. Huh. Did the thing not break because I bonked it? That was kind of cool. Also, man, I'm stuck as these vegetables again. Not a fan. Okay, let's see if hold right works. It doesn't. It doesn't. And because of the camera painting, I can't really react to that. Why couldn't they just give me the mushroom? Why do I have to do that? Okay, over. I can't do it, man. 
I can't do it. Okay, I got the Zelda costume, pretty nice. Drop down. Let's think. How can we retain momentum? Whatever. Hopefully we don't need the costume. Oh god! We get to boot! Now we go over? Give me like a checkpoint or something. I don't want to do that part again. Can I go over? Yes. I can. Can I just keep going over? Is this the end? This is the end. Alright. <laughs> I believe there's more level. But we're gonna do it my way. I don't know why. The these levels that make me wait around at the start or do so much just to actually start the level, they drive me crazy. And I feel like I keep getting more and more of them lately. But level 4, 87 lives. Japanese level. Okay, as long as it's not a 500 second speed run, I can handle that Kaizo block. Also, there's gonna be a door behind pile number two. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, in we go. Noise. I probably wanna get above. Yeah. Probably a Kaizo block or a Thwomp. No? Not yet, at least. Okay. Spiny section? I, I won't do that again. It's actually surprisingly tight. No, I think I'm gonna do it the way I did it last time. I think... Anything else won't work as nicely. Woo! That jump is actually surprisingly tight. Alright, so I'm ready for the spinies now. I'm just gonna wait. Good. Alright, now Thwomp? No? Spinies again? I... No, I can't go above. Let's just take the stack pipe. Right or down? Right or down? I know how to pick between right and left. But we're gonna go with right is right. And we're gonna YOLO. And... At least I learned something, so we're gonna try down next time, because right just takes us back to earlier in the level. It wouldn't be super expert without, you know, some trolley pick-a-path level. And now let's try down, although it could be stacked and we- It's not down. We could technically go back where we came from. Let's try this one. Okay. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I'm gonna get the key coin, and then I won't be let back up. Unless... Can I get it without going under the Kaizo block? Maybe? Maybe there's not even a Kaizo block there. <laughs> sure. So don't... Don't drop too low. Again. There might not be any Kaizo blocks, but I don't want to risk it. Whoa? Huh. Huh. What's going on here? I'm just, I'm so paranoid. I don't, I don't trust it. And that's why I don't trust it. So what could I have done differently? There has to be a hidden power-up. Okay, if I was a hidden power-up, where would I hide? Not there. Nothing here. 
And so if there's nothing here, I can't think of any way in which I could hit the blocks here. What if I have to drop a POW on the spikes? Huh. Or it could be simpler? What if it's just like that? No? I still don't know anything! So for example here, if I was big, I guess I could crawl through. I mean, I might have to start checking the door down below. But something tells me that there's funny business here. Okay, Kaizo here. Kaizo here. Here? What? Nothing? Is this just all malarkey? Now I'm even more confused. Is there anything hidden above here? I mean, that would be pretty tricky. I just... It's a matter of finding the hidden block now. I mean, I didn't think there would be anything there. <laughs> I'm just checking random places. Although, what if there was like... What if there was something in the torches? Maybe I can bonk them from below? <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool doing the triple with the pow. What would be- what would be even cooler is beating this level. So it seems like there's nothing in those two. Let's check this. Nothing in there either. Alright, well, I'm glad I started looking for funny business. So all we have to do is take this Yoshi to the end, and then we win. Good thing I didn't go in there. Wait, can I slide through? Whatever. Yeah. I mean, this isn't going to be annoying at all. So, get the coin in here. So as long as we don't fall down, I'm going to try not to fall down because that could be walled off. And then we get to the goal. We walk through. And then we say, hey, I never want to see you again, love. Also, for everybody who's on Team Ditch Yoshi, I mean, Yoshi totally bailed me out here. Yoshi is not a tool to be used and discarded. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, level 5. Level 5. 68 lives. Ryu Olympics 2. Mario Shelps. We got a Ryu level. So, I remember playing this level way, way, way back in the day. As Nintendo's like, hey, we don't want you to play it. Is it- is it freezing? No, okay, it's working. I think- yeah, no, I definitely played this level way back in the day. Although, I'm not sure if I remember it. Look at the aesthetics doing me dirty! That's fine, that's fine. I'm pretty sure this was part of the same series, where the next level was Bon Appetit. Alright, so we got our swim on. Oh, I'm actually a big fan of water levels in Mario Maker. I'm gonna be playing through a lot more on the channel. Okay. A bit stressful with the Padobos. Am I going too slow? Oh, get me out of here! I'm too slow! I'm too slow! So I don't want to bonk into anything. 
Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> so that was totally salvageable. We just have to... We have to not clip into stuff here. Also, I think I got the shell a bit faster. It's down, up. Every time we hit something, it slows us down. This is much better. So check it. Checkpoint. Perfect. Alright. I think it's pretty neat how in Mario Maker, when you have an item in your hand, you get so much uh, better air control. I guess it wouldn't be air control. It'd be water control. You look so ashamed that I can't even make fun of this. Also, I think it's funny, I get a 2016 uh, Ryu level. I'm having a great time, whereas I feel like... I feel like if Ryu ever got a 2016 Paco level, might not have as good of a time. I was not... I'm not gonna say I was a bad level creator back then, but I was definitely pretty ruthless. As, I don't even know I was going for the top of the tape, maxed out one-ups. But well, that level was a super expert gift. Uh, yeah, so, editor's note, 2016 Ryu did this to you? Definitely a start for that one, but we're on to the home stretch. Level 6, 67 lives. Paco Tastic Ghost House, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! So I get a Ryu level, and then I get a level dedicated to me on level 6. And I guess we gotta win it all on the Paco level. Alright, so... Bonk it over. This level was actually on my list of levels to play. But I guess we're gonna play it here. And then I, I wanna have more momentum. Land over there, spin off of that, good stuff. Also, I have I have a soft spot for finish levels. I feel like Finland makes the best Mario Maker levels. Okay, so it doesn't go back. I run off of it, I spin. That's two key coins. Hopefully there's gonna be checkpoints. Okay, left, right, left. And that surprisingly wasn't good. Okay, that's really tight. I'm gonna guess there's a music note under the saw. No, no music note. No music note. So just a second bonk. And then we wait. And then we go down. And then we go under. Okay, so I was struggling with not getting far enough. Now I overjumped it. I'm just all over the place. And I don't know if you guys can tell by the look on my face. I'm just super, super hyped to get a Paco level to try to win on. Jump. Woo! Really tight. Can I? Okay, I can bonk it. Can I grab it? No. Okay, in the door. Door probably takes me to the start. Okay, that's almost really cool, but I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, let's think. What can we do timing-wise? No, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, let's think. We up check. We get the shell back. Maybe I have to wait longer? I did something wrong. I think what I have to do, I need to jump off right as it's sinking there. And then the second bullet bill will come out. And then I think it'll line up a lot better, hopefully. One, two, let's say three. Yes, that works. That works. Get me in there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, checkpoint. Please give me a checkpoint. Do not tase me, bro. 
He tased me. He tased me. Dude, that would have been a perfect spot for a checkpoint. Left. Right. Left. Right. Perfect. Woo. All right. I'm excited to not go down the wrong path. Oh, I should have. I should have seen here. It even shows me. Checkpoint is to the left. <sighs> All right. Whatever. So get the shell. Perfect. Yeah, just as I said, we did it once. We can do it again. Down we go. Go left. Please, no Kaizo block. I guess something like this. And then a vine jump. And if I bonk my head, it'll knock me down. But I didn't bonk my head and we're good. Okay, so we're at a new area. I think I want to be to the right and then trigger the thwomp so that they go down. Yeah, like that. Okay, more momentum. Keep going right. Chuck it. Grab another one. Probably chuck that too. Something like that. So go in here. And then something tells me I'm not supposed to have the POW. It's probably supposed to be just a, a spin? What am I doing? I could have actually saved that. 41 lives, so we gotta... We gotta start getting good. Okay, so now... I'm ready to spin. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. And then that's just to run across. Don't jump. I really like stuff like this. So taka, taka, taka. Now run. And we go. Checkpoint? Okay, a bit of precision. If we jump too high, we get sent to the level above. Just like that. The only reason I jumped up was just to show you guys. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well now you guys really- now you guys really know. Maybe we just jump? Ooh, this is tight. This is really tight. I'm guessing just run across? And then, can I just jump to the goal here? I feel like... I'm supposed to do more stuff, and unless there's a Kaizo block, this should be Yata. This could have been Yata. I'm just going for that. Also, this part here is really, really good. It's super butt clenching every jump, but it's enjoyable. I don't, also, I don't know why I'm like moving my head around while I'm making these jumps. It's dumb. It's irrational, but it makes me feel better. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I can totally do this. So it's one, two, three, four. I'm like five up. Let's try this. Still not good. Still not good. I can totally, like, like I can tell I'm not getting the right jump. Man, I really like those jumps. All right, so we go up the vine. You could also go up like this. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Wait, maybe I'm not. <laughs> what am I doing? So there's like a key here and we don't need the key. There's a star. But if I hit the P-switch, I can just drop down like that. And then I just jump over and I win, which is a lot easier. <laughs> and I'm glad I decided to inspect things. First clear, woo! Time to go get our princess. Also, that was really cool. That's the first time I've ever gotten a Paco Loveland Super Expert. 
And it was even cooler that I got it on level 6. Alright, now it's time to check out some clear rates. The Pacotastic Ghost House is 0.57, 1 out of 174. Rio Olympics 2 Mario Shelps is 1.3%, 345 out of 26,000 attempts. Also, this level came out exactly one year after Mario Maker was released. Man, that, that takes me back. The horrible hidden Yoshi level was 4 out of 771, 0.51%. Spikes and Ice was also 0.51, 3 out of 583. Orator World Record, 40 second speedrun, 0.56, and 4 out of 709. So a lot of these clear rates were pretty similar. And the first puzzle level, which I really liked, is 0.76, and it was 14 out of 1,830. But yeah, that seems like a pretty good spot to wrap things up. If you guys want to see me beat Ryu's hardest level, there's a link in the top left corner. If you guys would like to catch me live, I do stream on Twitch every weekday, and I am uploading to YouTube quite frequently. As always, thanks for watching.